He says, you know what? I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm fucking tired of this shit. And maybe he's asked, okay? Maybe he's asked for his release, release and they don't want to give it to him. And they don't want to give it to him. So you know what? He says, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to go out. I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to show up at live events and I'm going to get myself fired. Mm -hmm. If they're not going to let me out of my contract, I'm going to take it upon myself to go out and get myself fired. That's very possible too. And, 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 and not only that, but one more thing here is Matt Hardy just posted um, a few hours ago. Um, and I even put this up on the website. We're going to do it as soon as we go off the air. But um, he posts some comments. Basically says, um, these are new updates, by the way. You guys haven't seen these on the website. But he says, uh, here's a quick hello to all my people and a reassurance to everyone that I'm fine, healthy, and in good spirits. I'm fine and I'm healthy. Wait a minute, dude. You were just blaming. You, you, you were just saying that, that you had major health problems. Yet, mm -hmm. I'm fine, I'm healthy, and I'm in good spirits. Thanks for all your support. He continues on. When the time is right, I'll put everything out there as far as what really went down. I know I have to protect me and my brand, and I will. And then he says... I appreciate my fans so much that I'll always be honest with them, and the whole story certainly isn't out there now. So then, there is a story, Matt. Then, um, the last thing he says, and, and this is interesting, he says, I appreciate all of the things WWE has done for me in the past. They have been gracious to me, but now it's decision time for me. Thanks all. Maybe that means they told him, you know, go to rehab or get fired. <laughs> that is exactly what I told you guys um, before we came on the air here. Okay, mm -hmm. basically, cue Carlito. Carlito was given an ultimatum. Mm -hmm. You go to rehab or you lose your job. Listen, Hardy's, Hardy's got problems. So you, you can see this from the video. He may have been given an ultimatum. You know, go to rehab or or you know, you know who who knows? But it seems to me like this guy is a guy that wants out of WWE, a guy that wants, you know, probably wants to go to TNA. Is probably tired of the road schedule. Is probably tired of everything, and they won't want to with his friends too. You know, they won't want him out of his contract. Well, so I think I think a lot of people are underplaying the factor of Matt Hardy going to TNA. Not only does that probably spike merchandise with Hardy Boys, but, you know, a lot of people love the Hardy Boys and their TLC days, so, I mean, I think that'd be a big hit, you know what I mean? Right, right, no doubt. And, and listen, as far as merchandising sales and things like that, this is another reason that WWE gives this guy some leeway, as he's a huge merchandise seller for WWE. Even without the Hardy Boys merchandise, he's still a major, major merchandise seller, seller for them. And they know this. And they know that if he heads to TNA, they're obviously going to do a Hardy Boys reunion, and then they're going to have a major merchandising thing between those two, between Matt and Jeff, and it's going to be good for TNA, obviously. Definitely. As far as, I mean, a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, as far as, like I said, merchandise sales and things like that. It's not all about just Matt Hardy going to TL. Yeah, exactly. Screw, screw. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that goes along with it. Merchandising and, and live event ticket sales. You know, can mm -hmm. if the Hardy Boys are on a live event, can we, can we draw a few more fans? It's things like that. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, and as far as, you know, I know when Matt Hardy posted that video on, on Sunday night, we had, I, I had more comments that said, ah, you fucked up, Clark, ah, you're wrong, Clark, you suck, you can't admit you're wrong, Clark, this and that, right? Mm -hmm. Then it comes out, right, I'm, I'm such a dickhead, I'm such a fucking prick, right? Mm -hmm. Then it comes out that, you know what? He was sent home. He went, okay, and, and WWE goes, and they confirm this, right? Where are these people, okay, with an apology? What about, what about, oh, my bad, oh, oh my bad, Clark, my bad, Hardy, Hardy lied to us, my bad. No, 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 you don't hear a peep. You don't hear from a peep from these people who were bitching when Hardy posted the video. And that's, that's, that's what I was going to say when you... When you said the whole thing about his new uh, tweet about how he's never gonna lie to his fans, like he already just lied to his fans. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's he's he's lying. I mean, the guy has, and, and this is not the first the, the first time he's done it, man. This is not the first time he's done it. So basically, what I'm saying is, listen, if you're gonna if you're gonna bitch and basically say, "I ah, fuck you, Clark, you suck, you're wrong, this and that," man up, man up. If the story <laughs> comes out to be true, man up and say, you know what, Clark, I fucked up, man. I fucked up, dude. You know, I was, I was wrong. Hey, if I make a mistake on the website, 
I'll, I'll apologize for it. I'll put it up, and, and I've done it before. I've yeah, I was just about to say, you have in the past. I've done it before. I've done it numerous times before. So it's just a case of, you know, I mean, and where are all these fans at? You know what? Let's, uh, I'll tell you what, before we get into Billy Gunn, if any of you guys want to talk about Matt Hardy, okay, let's just, no Billy Gunn right now. Um, and so we run down the, the, the story here in just a few minutes. If you want to talk about Matt Hardy and only Matt Hardy, it's going to be 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. Call you live on WZR Radio. What's your name from? Caller. Caller. Yo. You're calling hey. all up. You've been calling all night, brother. 425, area code. I think he was going to man up to you and apologize. <laughs> oh, it's been calling all night, man. He's live now, so say something, buddy. You're live, daddy, live. 425, there you come. Last chance, buddy. Going, going, gone. Just going, going, gone. Hey, you know, you got live, baby, live. I'm going to say live, daddy, live. Live, daddy, live. There you go. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Call you live on WZR Radio. What's your name, me from? Yes, sir, this is um, the media. Uh, I was going to tell you about my, my Hardy. All right. Um, y'all are right. Thank you. Yes, um, Matt Hardy, um, was trying to de uh, delay it, and, um, and, um, he was trying to stall, and I see what y'all was talking about, uh, uh, um, about sent home. Right, yeah. And, and, and he filmed that in his hotel room, and then he said he was sent home. Right. Well, it's, it's just a case of you know maybe it was bad wording on my part with the uh, with the sent home part, but nonetheless the guy's obviously got some some personal issues that he's got to get resolved. And like I said, it's not a personal agenda. I mean, we all know how I feel about Matt Hardy. I'm not the biggest fan of him, but I wouldn't go out there, okay, on. 34 different websites that I report for. 34 different websites. I would not go out there and purposely trash somebody for, for something that, that they did not do. I mean, this is this is the real deal. And I, it, it seems clearly obvious. I mean, by watching that video, everybody can, can pretty much see that he's got issues. Yes, I saw that. Um, he um, showed his computer and he showed all the websites. Right, right, you yeah, know, and that's that's another thing where you know he broke uh, he broke a, a a golden rule. You know what I mean? As as far as addressing the internet dirt sheets. So, if you guys uh, if you're calling up, I know if you don't get through, here's the deal, guys. We've only got one phone line, so if somebody's on the line, I can't take another phone call. So I see all these numbers calling up, and then you guys don't call back. So just call back in as soon as we hang up with one caller. Call back in, and uh, we'll try to get you on. Um, throughout hour number two, we're just gonna open yeah. up the uh, we're just gonna open up the live phone lines all night long for uh, hour number two. Calling you live on WZR Radio. What's your name? Where you from? Yeah, I'm oh. the X3000 from New York. What's up, buddy? What's yeah. up, buddy? Yeah, um, that's yeah, good show anyway. Thanks. So, you said my hearty tweet. He said I appreciate all the things that WZ has done for me. Right, right. Last few years. Right. Yeah. So you gonna get fired or what? Uh, well, I t I, he just posted that tweet, um, I don't know, probably an hour or two ago. Um, I, you know, we've been talking about it, man. I mean, basically, like I said before, he's, he's either on some really, really good drugs or he wants to be, he wants to be fired from WWE. Um, he's doing everything right now. I, I mean, everything he's doing right now is likely going to get him fired from WWE, whether he wants that or not. I don't know. I would, I would guess. I mean, I don't think he cares at the moment. Obviously, I, I just don't think he would he would go to these measures. And and the funny thing is is like we we were talking about about 20 minutes ago where he put that video up, and there was no way that because WWE never responds to requests to say, hey, was somebody. They don't respond to, you know, did this guy fail a wellness test or was this guy sent home from an event? They don't respond to that. So Hardy's feeling was probably, I'll make this video, I'll calm everybody down, act like I'm right, act like I haven't been sent home, and nobody's ever going to know because WWE is not going to say anything. And when news they contacted the WWE, they said, oh, yeah, we sent him home twice. You know? And my thing is, why would he even want to be in TNA, really? You know, I mean, I can't even see him wanting to be in TNA. Well, I just got all this stuff like we talked about earlier, man. You've got, I mean, all of, all of his boys, man. You've got Shannon Moore. Helms is going to be there shortly. You've got Jeff there. You've got, I mean, Hardy Boys reunion. I mean, it makes perfect. And it, and it even got to the point where they're degrading him on TV in a promo. You know what I mean? So. Well, if, if, if he's going from WWE, there's no doubt about it. He, he winds up in TNA. 90 days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no doubt. No, no question about it. Oh yes, and um, I remember, uh, yeah, like 
I don't know when, but I know he posted a video on YouTube showing like all of his money that he made, saying that uh, he doesn't really need WWE. Oh, God, I, I remember money. that. God, I remember that from a couple months ago, man. Yeah. That's quite yeah. a bigger video. He's been, dude, listen, the guy's a fucking toolbox. He, the guy's a fuck. Yeah. He's an idiot, man. He's an idiot. You know? well, why is he a toolbox? He's, uh, well, he's a toolbox because all the fucking, you know, a tool, because you put the tools in, <laughs> you put the tools in the box, so you're a toolbox. You know what I mean? All right, thanks. For calling me, man. I appreciate it. Guys, uh, give us a call. Open phone line right now. It is the number to call us up is 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. Talking Matt Hardy for about two more minutes, then we'll get into Big Gun in um I think this is Cali. Cali calling you live on the news here already. What's up? Yeah, man, uh, if I'm clear, it's been uh, a couple of weeks ago or something that uh, Harley posted on his Twitter or something like that, but he was tired of being misused and having an injury angle and all kinds of things like that. It kind of seems like he was trying to get fired doing that and all this other stuff like that. You yeah, know, that's, yeah. that's kind of what we're talking about too, man, where is it a case of this guy just wants to get fired and he's showing up to live events drunk or, or high as hell and he just doesn't give a fuck and basically, you know, like we said, man, I think we brought up a great point earlier where we said you know maybe he's asked out of his contract maybe he wants out of WWE and, and they basically told him no we're not going to let you go and he says alright if you're not going to let me go I'll go to extreme measures so basically you got to fire me and he's playing on the danger side I mean, now I mean they're fed up they're obviously fed up um, you know I mean talent doesn't make videos and address the dirt sheets let alone write comments about the dirt sheets, you know what I mean? I mean, it's a golden rule. It's an unwritten rule in WWE where you just don't address news, rumors, dirt sheets, anything like that, and Matt Hardy is just completely against that these days. I mean, there's a reason why he's doing this. What that is, whether he's on drugs and, and that's what's causing it, or whether he wants out of WWE, it's... Maybe it's, it's both. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's both, but, you know, I mean, who, who knows? And, and, you know, I mean, if... I really, I really don't know. I just know that he's been sent home twice, and, and that's all there is to it right now. Now he lost well. Hey, John. Hey, Always must be, huh? Yeah. Right, well, fine. I think we crossed everything with Matt Hardy by now. <laughs> all right, we're getting to Billy Gunn. This is uh, probably where it's going to get good. See, here's another thing, man. All these people, all these people in the comments here. They, uh, I shouldn't even address these people because out of the thousands and thousands of hits that we get. It's only like 20 or 30 fans you know, yeah. That, oh, yeah. that, that write these comments, so it's not, it's not as big of a deal as not everybody. probably. Yeah. Not, not everybody. Oh, okay. well, before we take some calls on this, you want to uh, give our opinions on it? Yeah, I guess we should run down the story first and then uh, talk about it, open up the uh, phone calls. I guess, jeez, uh, man, this is, this is nuts, man. I, yeah, definitely, and it's just wild. And I've, like I said to you earlier, and on the show, I've listened to uh, 15 of them already, and it's, pff, it's crazy. Yeah, there's, crazy. There's, there's 16 total, so, and you know, yeah. you know what's going to piss people off even more? Is that? As soon as we go off the air tonight, there's going to be a post. It's already pre-written. It's got all 16 voicemails in one <laughs> post. And you sons of bitches, it's going up as soon as we go off the air tonight. And that's how it's going to be, baby dolls. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, so Billy Gunn, my man, Jesus. Here we go. You want to run down the story first? Sure. Okay, sure. go ahead. Hit it up, Matt. <laughs> you, want, you want to run down the story? Uh, uh. Okay. Th well, this is this is pretty much it. Um, last what April or May two thousand or March April whatever two thousand and nine, Billy Gunn was met or he met a woman by the name of Deborah Simmons who was pretty much a ring rat. And if you don't really know what that is, she's pretty much like a, uh, just kind of a slut. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. A slot that sucks around with wrestlers. That's exactly what I went Yep. Is. And uh, so she ended up having an affair with Monty Sop, and uh, eventually he pretty much gave her the boot, dumped her. Well, well, hold on. 